When you operate a motor, grease operates as a lubricant. And there's really two types of lubricants. You have oil and you have grease. Oil is the most optimal way of lubricating a rotating device. Uh, but when you use oil, it's a very, very specific system. It needs to be very carefully engineered. Uh, you need to circulate the oil properly. Uh, those oil lubrication systems are complicated and uh, sometimes very expensive. So you have an alternative grease. Grease is designed to be really robust. You can throw a, a grease system into a hot, dirty, really heavy duty uh, environment inside of a motor and so that's more of a set it and forget it type of system but even with grease that's more resilient towards dirt and grime and hotness and things like that you need to replace some of the grease because some of it leaks out burns up etc so if you properly lubricate your motor then you won't run into issues where you're bearings won't be able to spin properly and you know, either gunk up too much or spin too freely with no grease in between the metal bearing and the metal raceway. And so proper greasing will prevent potential bearing failures in your motor. Greasing a motor isn't so simple as just walking up to a motor with a grease gun and pumping it uh, as many times as indiscriminately as you want into the motor. Greasing a motor is going to be different depending on what motor you bought. So depending on the horsepower of the motor, the pull speed, which would be the RPM of the motor, the frame size of the motor, and the type of enclosure, open drip proof, totally enclosed, fan cooled. Depending on all those factors, you're going to need to put 10 pumps of grease every three months for some of them, or maybe only a couple pumps every you know, several years for others. So the schedule for the greasing can be provided by your motor manufacturer, and WEG would be able to say, based on your operating requirements and motor nameplate information, exactly how much grease you should be putting into your motor and how frequently. So here's an example of a chart that is provided by WEG in the installation and operation manual that will accompany your motor. And based on this chart, you can see that the amount of grease needed for a 143 frame W22 motor is a lot less than the grease required for a larger frame, 360 frame and above. So you go from requiring 27 grams of grease every 4,000 hours for a 360 frame motor to only requiring four grams of grease every 25,000 hours. So there's a very wide variation of how much grease you need in, in one interval depending on your motor frame. It's important to understand the relationship of grams to grease and squirts from a grease gun. A grease gun generally provides about two to three grams of grease per squirt. So when you see four grams of grease required for a leg motor, that would represent one to two squirts from a grease gun. If you see 11 grams, that's gonna be four to five squirts and uh, so on. So it's important to know how many grams you get out of each squirt because if, if, uh, if you don't understand that value properly, then you could under grease or, or maybe over grease your motor. A common issue in the industry is for um, a maintenance personnel to go and, and just pump as, as much grease as they think is necessary indiscriminately um, and as frequently as they think it is necessary without referring to any operation manuals or grease schedules. And what can happen as a result of this is that you can over grease your motor. So the motor is designed to have grease in the bearing system. So that's in the bearings and in the bearing cavity. If you over grease a motor, that grease can uh, make its way outside the bearing cavity and into other parts of the motor where it doesn't belong. So that could include the, the rotor assembly, the windings, things like that. So if grease is in areas it doesn't belong and it's not cooled properly, then it can cake and turn into grime and, and solidify and harden and essentially 
form almost like a blanket inside the motor on other components like the windings. And if the motor can't cool itself properly, if it can't rotate properly, well then now you'll have maybe winding failure from overheating. Maybe your shaft will start to seize and lock up and you'll have some sort of mechanical failure. So if you over grease, you can run into problems just like you would have if you, you would under grease. Motors are, uh, you know, they're critical pieces of equipment and sometimes they need to be um, engineered pretty specifically for their application. If uh, you need any technical resources for that application, you can go to your local Erie Tech branch or you can contact uh, WEG Factory at 1-800-ASK-FOR-WEG.